Robert Schultz has spent 40 years building Starbucks into a coffee empire. Lately, though, he's been focusing on something different, the gridlock in Washington. Simply put, he wants people to stop making political donations until elected officials get their act together. And last night he held what he called a teletown hall meeting, listening to Americans express their concerns and frustrations with Congress. I'm not a politician. <laughs> I'm, I'm not an economist. I run a coffee company. Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz says this summer's bitter debate over raising the debt ceiling was the final straw. The country is facing... In a town hall-style webcast, he called on Americans to demand that lawmakers end their partisan bickering and find solutions to the nation's mounting problems. We as Americans have to send a message to Washington that you work respectfully for us. Schultz urged Washington to reduce the corporate income tax for companies that create jobs and focus on policy without regard to re-election. The people who are in power in Washington literally forget why they're there. And uh, what I would say to them is try and put your feet in the shoes of Americans who are unemployed, can't make their mortgage payment, lost their house, etc. Tuesday's webcast was just part of the CEO's bold campaign. He's taken out newspaper ads, an open letter in which he tells elected officials to put citizenship ahead of partisanship. It's a very expensive process. Because Schultz's crusade against Washington gridlock began last month when he challenged other CEOs to withhold campaign contributions until the political wrangling stopped. So far, the CEOs of more than 100 companies have signed on. And joining us now is Howard Schultz. Good to have you with us this morning. Uh, over 100,000 people participating last night from all 50 states. Was there one uh, prevailing note that you heard from those people? I think that absolutely, I think people realize more than ever before that there's a fracturing in the level of trust and confidence in government. I think people feel like they've been left behind and the American dream, which has been such a big part of the DNA of America, seems to have been fractured. And people feel like they're being left behind. There's no question. Did it surprise you, the reaction that you've gotten? I mean, 100,000 people that are part of the telecall, that's one thing. But the other response that you've gotten after the phone call from other people like yeah. yourself that are in positions to really hold back a lot of money from Washington. The truth of the matter is we didn't know what to expect. We, we set this up about four or five days ago to get over 100,000 people from all walks of life saying pretty much the same thing, which is we need citizenship over partisanship. This is a time where the president and Congress need to come together and recognize that 9% unemployment, a fracturing of trust and confidence, is just not the way that we can keep America going. There has to be a change. You're essentially calling on politicians to do their job, to do the job they were elected to do, to put aside the ideology, the partisanship. Have you heard back from anyone in Washington who has said to you, yes, I can do that, yes, we can make this happen? I have heard from some elected officials and on both sides of the aisle, they, they pretty much say the same thing to me, but then they get back into their job. And what happens is they're concerned about their own ideology, re-election. And what I'm saying to them is this is a time where America needs to be represented, not a singular focus on one constituent. So can you, ch I mean, can you change that, though, then? If they're coming at you and saying, oh, yeah, great idea, but then in that same call, they slip back into, I, think, I have to keep my job. I, I think more than ever before, the people in the country need to recognize that this is, a, this is no longer a crisis. This is an emergency. And we need to get people in America to realize they have a voice, that Washington works for us. Let them know how concerned we are and let them know that we are not going to embrace the status quo. We need leadership. We need a level of civility and respect. And Congress and administration needs to give us a long-term debt ceiling deal that satisfies the crisis of confidence in America with a laser focus. I mean, a sense of urgency like no other time in our history to reduce unemployment and get the economy growing again. Is that one of the things that has disappointed you about this president and this administration as a whole, the fact that there is not a sense of urgency? Does well, it seem I'm, as though yeah, there's a sense of yeah. urgency? I, I'm not here to criticize the president or any individual in Congress. What I am saying is Washington is not working. They took an oath of office to represent all of America. We're going in the wrong direction. Come together, give us a long-term debt deal, and start focusing specifically on the economy.
your, your other focus here is you really want to see job growth, as most Americans do with unemployment yes. at 9.1 percent. I know Starbucks has done some hiring, adding 36,000 jobs. But we talk about this all the time, and we seem to ask every politician we can. The bottom line is companies, especially large companies, have learned how to do more mm -hmm. with less. True. How do you encourage them? They're not going to hire people just to make people feel good and spend money. It doesn't make sense yeah. for their business. Well, I, I think what I said last night is if, if America was a company, and I realize it's not, uh, then we would be doing things that are very different than what Congress and the administration is doing. There would be a, a very specific plan, a transformation plan with a, with a tremendous amount of innovation. And I think we need to focus on the fact that the old ideas of the past are not going to work for the seismic change in the way America is structured today. And as a result of that, we need to do things the likes of which we have not done before to stimulate the economy. Can I? Mr. Schultz, thank yes. you. Do you want to make an order before you go? One yes or no. Would you ever run for office? I'm not here to run for office. I, you know, I run a coffee company, but I do care so much about the country, and I'm so concerned about where we're headed. All right. Mr. Schultz, thank you. Good to thank see you. you this morning. Thank you very much.